It's 10 trivia questions on all things art history. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and having some fun with me today. We've got a great episode for you on art history, a topic we've done probably twice before on the podcast over the years, but not since 2019, I think. So hopefully this is a fun new batch just for you art historians. Before we get to that, we've got the Scattagories warm-up game, and the letter today is H. We have things to do at a party, things at a carnival, and things that grow. Things to do at a party, things at a carnival, and things that grow. All things today. And we have the letter H. We'll see how you do and listen for mine at the end of the episode, along with a fun fact of the day. We are warmed up, we're juiced up, and we're diving in to art history trivia. Here we go. It's art history trivia, question number one. Gothic and Renaissance art largely centered on religious themes. The golden circles behind a figure of significance are called what? Number one, Gothic and Renaissance art largely centered on religious themes. The golden circles behind a figure of significance are called what? Question number two. Renaissance is a French term meaning what? Renaissance is a... French term meaning what? Question number three. Italian technique chiaroscuro, made prevalent in the Baroque period, uses the contrast of blank and blank. Chiaroscuro, made prevalent in the Baroque period, uses the contrast of blank and blank. Question number four, Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog is a famous painting from the Romanticism period. Who painted it? Number four, Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog is a famous painting from the Romanticism period. Who painted it? Number five, Claude Monet was fascinated with painting water lilies around how many of his paintings depict them? 150, 175, 200, or 250. Number five, Claude Monet was fascinated with painting water lilies around how many of his paintings depict them? 150, 175, 200, or 250. Number six, paintings from the Naturalism period are characterized by painting scenes of what? Number six, paintings from the Naturalism period are characterized by painting scenes of what? Number seven, what painting is also the name of a horror movie franchise? Number seven, what key word in a famous painting is also the name of a horror movie franchise? Question number eight, one of Pablo Picasso's most famous works, Guernica, depicts what? Number eight, one of Pablo Picasso's most famous works, Guernica, depicts what? Number nine, Filippo Tommaso Marinetti wrote that art should focus on change, innovation, and originality. This started what period of art? Number nine, Filippo Tommaso Marinetti wrote that art should focus on change, innovation, and originality. This started what period of art? Number 10, Salvador Dali is from what country? Salvador Dali is from what country? And number 11 for art history, after losing his temper with a fellow painter, Paul Gauguin, Van Gogh famously cut off which of his own ears. Those are all your questions for art history. We'll be right back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to art history trivia. Question one, Gothic and Renaissance art largely centered on religious themes. The golden circles behind a figure of significance are called halos. Also, glories, glorioles, or nimbus would be acceptable. Number two, renaissance is a French term meaning rebirth, rebirth. Number three, Italian technique chiaroscuro 
is uh, something that was made prevalent in the Baroque period and used contrast of light and dark. Those are the two blanks we're looking for, light and dark. Number four, Wanderer Above the Sea of Fog is a famous painting from the Romanticism period. Who painted it? Caspar David Frederick. Caspar David Frederick. Number five, Claude Monet was fascinated with painting water lilies. He painted about 250 of them, 250 of them. Number six, paintings from the naturalism period are characterized by painting scenes of the real world or nature, real world or nature. Number seven, a painting that's also the name of a horror movie franchise is The Scream, Scream. Number eight, one of Pablo Picasso's most famous works, Guernica, depicts the bombing of Guernica, the bombing of Guernica. Number nine, Filippo Tommaso Marinetti wrote that art should focus on change, innovation, and originality. This was the period of futurism, futurism. Number 10, Salvador Dali was from Spain, Spain. And after losing his temper with a fellow painter, Paul Gauguin, Van Gogh famously cut off his left ear, left ear. And there you have it, a fun quiz on art history. Hopefully I pronounced everything close to uh, correct, and I hope you had a good time playing along. We have a fact of the day for you, and today's fact of the day is for $100,000, you can purchase a submarine that looks like a killer whale. That's pretty fun. Killer whale submarine, hundred grand. Get one of those and go explore the deep sea. And your letter today was about the letter H. Things to do at a party, I'm going to say hover. Kind of hover between groups or you kind of hang out. Hang out, you could say, as well with an H. But I'm going to say hover. Number two, things at a carnival. How about, um, oh, haunted houses. Sometimes they have those set up. And things that grow, honeysuckle. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. Thanks for supporting the show for a dollar a month on Patreon. For no ads at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with me. Cheers. Thank you.